Hi guys, it's Dr. Mohamed Usman and I am back with another video. Uh, if you haven't liked my YouTube channel, do visit my YouTube channel and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated. You can also visit my Facebook page for updates. So let's talk about today's topic. So today in mini tab, I will be talking about how you can calculate one sample poison rate. And before I start, I will like to tell you that what are the uses of one sample poison rate. So basically the first use is that you can compare a rate to a target value. Like when you have a poison data, you can use one sample poison rate test to compare an occurrence rate to a benchmark value, such as competitors claim of a historical rate. Similar like it is also used for to estimate a rate of occurrence. You can't really know the true rate without measuring every possible observation. A uh, one sample poison rate test can give you a practical estimate of the rate in the form of a confidence interval which is a range in terms of values and it is likely to contain the rate. So the second thing is like what kind of data is required for the one sample poison rate. So first of all you must know that uh, the data must follow a poison distribution in other words you must uh, have a data that can represent counts of events or defects or activities. Like the number of flaws in a car, like customer complaints or the number of car that passes over a bridge in one hour. So when we are talking about this, now we will uh, use that how you can uh, calculate one sample poison rate. So for, for this one, I have a uh, metropolitan public transportation sample worksheet from the mini tab. So to open that, you have to go into the open worksheet like previously we have worked on it. You will click that. There will be a worksheet over here open. If you haven't uh, go into the sample uh, data folder of Minitab, you can just click this one. It will take you to the same window. Uh, over here, you will go over to the uh, breakdowns.ntw. I will go over here. It is over here. So when you will load it, you will have a customer complaints over here. So the metropolitan data complaints are given over here and you can see that there are some certain values and uh, it is about 30 values. So to calculate the sample poison rate, you will go over the stat into the basic stats and you will click one sample poison rate. When you will click that, you will have uh, one or more samples in each column and you will have a sample column. So you will click over here. It will show you a column over here if it is not showing. You will just double click it over here. It will be a dual one if it is already there. You will just click OK and it will show you this one. So what it has told you, there are total uh, 598 occurrences. The number of variables were 30. The rate of occurrence was 19.99. There was a 95% confidence interval in which 18.3675 is the start one, 21.5970 is the end one. Length of the observation is equal to one. So basically, if you have a one sample poison rate, it will tell you the length of the observation is one. Similar like if you change any value over here, uh, like if I will go over here and I will enter 22, I will enter 17, I will enter 18. So I have entered some more values. So you will go again and this will show you how the data changes in the one sample poison rate. Similarly, like you will again go over here and it will show you complaints. Okay, I will click okay. So now you can see that the number of occurrences are changed to 655. The uh, number of variables are 33 because I entered 3. The rate of occurrence is equal to 19.845. And you can see that 95% confidence interval is also changed. So length of our observation remains the same because we have one column and we have one column showing us the complaints. So this was uh, uh, the scenario for calculating the one sample poison rate and which was about the complaints uh, in a metropolitan public transport data. So this video was up to here. If you like my video, do visit my YouTube channel and like and subscribe to it. You can also earn training certificate from our video channel. The process is as follows and it is easy for you. We have issued many certificate for many participants and you can also uh, get uh, special certification certificates. So what you are waiting for, go today to my YouTube channel and like and subscribe to it. Thank you.